Good morning, everybody. CB Kino family. Good morning, y'all. Listen, um, today's video, uh, we got a few things we got to get done today. So I've already ordered all of my dog gates because you guys know I need gates for the stall. So I order those on online Amazon. Every time I tell you guys where I got something from, I'll make sure that I tell you guys where I got it from so I don't have to get those comments. So I got the dog gates from um, online Amazon. Like, they're just regular baby gates, that's it. But they gotta be screwed in. That way, you know, the juice and nobody's able to uh, mess them up. I also ordered my dog beds. I got nine. I don't know why I made that dumb decision. I should have gotten 11. And the reason being, because you guys know I got a few dogs who are gonna tear them up. I know for a fact at least two dogs are gonna tear their, their beds up. Juice and Hennessy. But the whole goal in the kennel is for my, the whole, the whole goal of my dog house is for my dogs to be more comfortable in a better environment um, for it to be more sanitary and for them to have their own space. I don't want nobody to be sharing the space with nobody else. I want everybody to have their own individual space to hang out, you know, relax, feel good. So, um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to put Pretty Boy in one of the stalls or if I might give Pretty Boy the stall on the end. You guys know I have one kennel in there that's on the end towards the wall that I built and that's the smallest one so it says pretty boy is so small I might give him that star but I haven't really decided yet um, but so this is my game plan I, I was talking to one of my guys uh, my mans and we was talking about a few things with the sheds he was giving me a couple ideas uh, things I should tweak because you guys know I don't know everything I do not know everything I'm not a veterinarian I'm not a rocket scientist none of that so you guys remember a couple videos ago I told you I was going to get a drain so, I already kind of had in my head I didn't want to pressure wash or I didn't want to have to, like, water it down with the water hose because I'm pretty sure, you know, it's not, the shit will be sealed, but it won't be as sealed as, like, a, a shower. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure the water's going to eventually escape, uh, escape, I'm sorry, escape. And, and I don't need the I don't need to go through the whole thing of it over time six seven months the water getting down to the wood now I got to tear everything out rebuild the floor I don't have to go through any of that so um, my guy it was like man you know gave me a couple of bright ideas so I'm not gonna do the drain anymore I'm not gonna do the drain um, but I'm still going to go in there I'm still going to pick up the poop um, bag the poop up but instead of using the water. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna get like the mop buckets they used to have at the school. You know what? I need y'all help. CB Killer Fam, I need y'all. Y'all comment down below. Y'all comment down below the best idea. You guys, I know you guys don't really know how I'm gonna do it until you guys see it. But tell me, you know, what you guys' honest opinion is. Like, don't you guys think? Because how I'm thinking, if I do it with the mop bucket water and everything, don't you guys feel like uh, maybe I'm tripping over a period of time? I'm gonna have to do a thorough cleaning. Of course, I'm going to use sanitation and all that good stuff to clean the kennels out and the mop water. But don't you guys feel like after, like over a period of time, we're going to have to do like a deep cleaning because there's still going to be like leftover residue. Or maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. Y'all tell me how y'all feel. But um, I got everything ordered. So my game plan is how I want to set it up is semi sorted to how they are right now in the garage. I want to put a dog bed either towards the back of the wall or towards the side. And I'm going to put, um, so that way they're not actually just sitting in the pee. I'm gonna put on. Um, so if you guys look at the videos, you guys know I have rubber mats in the garage. But instead of it being just like the regular rubber mats, like the ones I have now, I'm gonna do the ones with the holes in it. So, um, but I'm not gonna have the rubber mat over the whole thing. I'm just gonna have the rubber mat over the part that the, that the dog bed is not on. If you guys dig what I'm saying, understand what I'm saying. So that's my game plan of how I wanna do it. But the rubber mats, I didn't have to wear them online. I can get those at Home Depot, so whenever that time comes. so. I spoke with my town, man. Doghouse should be up and running by Monday. Hopefully, you guys. Fingers crossed. We can just stay on track. That's my whole game plan. You know what I'm saying? I want my garage back for, you know, other purposes and the purposes that a garage is used for. Um, but most importantly, I want my dogs to be in a comfortable environment. I just want everybody to have their own environment. I know some of my dogs are going to not like it because of the fact that, um, they're not going to have anybody to play with because everybody's going to have individual homes. But this is my game plan so that everybody, like all of my supporters, have an understanding. The understanding I want you guys to, 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 to have is 
so with them being in the backyard, I don't have to worry about having to let them run around the house to go in the back, which you guys know, like nobody leaking my garage, I don't have my garage door open. So with that being said, I can take them out more often. So instead of it being, you know, I'm gonna take them out uh, twice a day and let them play twice a day. Normally I let them out in the morning, early in the morning before the sun come out around six, seven o'clock. Then I take them out at nighttime around seven, six o'clock. But with the new setup, I should be, it should be more efficient. Meaning I should be able to take them out um, three times a day, four times a day to actually go to the bathroom and actually do what they do. Um, to, you know, not only play and get exercise in more, because they already play and exercise in, but it'd be more efficient when it comes to me cleaning because they won't be pooped. It'd be better for me to try to potty train each and every individual dog. Because all I got to do is go out there at any time of day. I'm like, hey, I'll go out and play, whatever the case is. But you guys know I have micro bullies. We all got to be realistic when it comes to micro bullies. They can't be out there in the hot sun. Dude. Your dog will overheat and die. I'm just being honest with you. Like, we don't, I've had, that dog have, I've had it happen with a couple of dogs where I had to save them. Choose, I had to save him. She had to save, we all know that. It all comes with on a micro bully. Most micros, I mean, we all know the game plan of a micro. We all know the game plan of every dog that's for it to have great health, um, live a great life experience, great life, life experience, you know, a longer life. But in reality, you know, I don't care how you put it. People are not going to be real nowadays and tell you, bro, micros are inbred. Micros are bred with different type of shit. So, like, there is no such thing as trying to criticize anyone for owning a micro bully because of how they are. Because all micro bullies have the same problems. Whether it's physical or not, they all have the same problems. Owning a micro bully or any of that stuff, it's not really... Like, it's one of those things where it's preference, you know. They're not the healthiest dogs. I mean, I'm, and I can admit that as a man, they're not the, Micros are not the healthiest dogs because, one, we think about it. How you guys think we get these these pockets and these XLs to be so short and small? They bring them with all type of stuff. You got to bring them with Frenchies. They bring them with all type of... I've seen them breeding them with all type of things to, to shorten them up. So, and not only that, we inbreeding. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They're inbred. So, with that being said, you know, with all of the things we're doing to try to shrink them and make them smaller, that makes their health not as best. I mean, of course, the goal is to have their health as best you can. But, I mean, you got to think about it. Um, Juice. I bought Juice when he was six months old. Juice, what, now currently almost three, which is still young. Draco, three. Had him. I produced Draco. Hennessy bought her when she was six months. I produced uh, Rosa Parks. I bought uh, Riri when she was what three months old. So I have I've had Riri since she was a puppy. Um, I handle my camp a lot different from other guys. Like some guys like to go puppies. Some guys like to go full adults. It just depends. Just because you know I'm a YouTuber and I put it on here, that don't mean other camps are not doing it. So um, like I said with me, I rather produce my puppies and keep my puppies. Um, of course, I mean. It depends. I mean, you, you, sometimes I want to buy a puppy. Sometimes I want to buy a dog. You know, it just depends on the dog, first off, and how I feel it's going to get me better to my camp. Um, so Pretty Boy, for an example, um, Pretty Boy do have a few flaws, like his back legs, which I spoke on earlier in the video. Um, his back legs, are they, they, they kind of like, they, they, they're eerie a little bit. But the thing about Pretty Boy, you uh, you guys have to understand, Pretty Boy is inbred. So if the people that don't know what inbred means or line bred, all that good stuff, it means five times this or four times that or three times this. Anything that's times, mean, it, it meaning the bloodline is that much stronger, meaning it's inbred. So with that being said, when I first bought Pretty Boy, you know, when he was younger, I didn't see that. I'm not going to lie. I didn't see it. Um, his legs went like that, but the older he got, it started to show more. But I'm working with him on it, and it's definitely getting better. It's definitely getting better, you know. So what I do is um, I, I do a little therapy on his legs. Um, I let him run. Running definitely helps. Um, therapy, all that. Cause like I said, a lot of stuff I don't put on YouTube. Like I put majority things on YouTube, but certain things I don't put on YouTube. Like I mean, I don't have to put my whole life on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But um, his legs are definitely getting better, so um, that's a good thing. But you know, 
that's one of those things where when you're buying dogs or you're buying puppies or you're buying full-grown dogs, it's risk. Like I tell you guys, it's risk that come with buying any dog. You got, you don't know what's going on with the dog. You know what I'm saying? But on another note, you guys got to also look at it from my perspective. My perspective, I'm not breeding for nobody else. I'm breeding to create my visual bull. With Pretty Boy being inbred, which a lot of y'all are not even going to understand. It's going to go past your head. I know it is. But with Pretty Boy being inbred, it's going to, the use of him in my camp is going to be for the better, which I know is going to be confusing because with him being inbred, his bloodline is going to be stronger. So let's say I take him to a certain female and I want his traits to show up more. Certain traits, and not, not necessarily bad traits, the good traits. You guys know when you're breeding, not all traits are going to show. I mean, that's rocket science when you're breeding any dogs not all their traits are going to show and i'm gonna give you guys another example down one let's go down one if you don't know down one down one looks ugly down one is not a show dog down one is one of those dogs he's a producer there's a lot of dogs out here man you guys gotta understand being up and coming bully breeders whatever the case is not every dog is a show dog not every dog is made you know what i'm saying for a certain reason every dog has their purpose so Pretty boy. With pretty boy being inbred, he's gonna he's gonna be very effective to my camp in a lot of ways because of him being inbred, which means his bloodline and what he's gonna produce is gonna be very strong. Um, yes, it's a possibility some of his bad traits might come in, but not again. Like I told you guys, not every trait is gonna show up. So Don Juan, Don Juan has a lot of puppies on the ground. Don Juan has a lot of puppies. So good example. Um, Rosa Parks dad uh, Cough Drop is a Don Juan son He didn't get Don Juan bad traits Juice Juice didn't get Don Juan bad Besides the bulldog look The little, the little, you know, the wrinkles He didn't get Don Juan He didn't get bad Don Juan traits And if you don't know Don Juan He was owned by uh, He was owned by a bully camp in Miami Then he was bought by uh, a bully camp in Atlanta Or Georgia Wherever them boys I don't know where them boys at But Don Juan is no longer alive, but the dog the dog was messed up. His feet were messed up. His head was messed up. The, whole, the dog was horrible. But again, he didn't produce that. He produced them. Don Juan produced some next level studs, next level dogs. I can even show you Juice's litter mates. Juice and them dogs are fire. I'm talking about clean, full tail. Juice is one of the only ones that came out litter with no tail, literally. Like, his brothers had tails. He had brothers with tails. Um, but again, not every dog is, is, is gonna look, you know, how they're supposed to look. You know, every dog has their own purpose. Um, but of course, the goal is to have a healthy dog. The goal is to have a, you know, a dog that can live a regular life. That's the goal. But I mean, I'm not gonna. I would never turn a dog down or not purchase a dog because oh my gosh, it looks ugly. Or, oh my gosh, it's deformed. That's really messed up. You want me to be honest with you? That's mess. That's like that's like saying, "Oh, I want to adopt kid. I don't want to adopt that kid because that, that kid has Down syndrome. I don't want to adopt this kid because this kid has 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 a defect." Like that's really messed up. If you really look at it, that's how I look at. It. Maybe I'm just the one tripping, but like, oh, I don't want to buy him because he has he he he, he, he look he looks or he appears like he have a defect or he appears like you know I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to you know I don't know. That's messed up. Maybe I just look at things different, but. I don't want to adopt that kid because that kid looks like he have a deformation. Or I don't want to adopt this female, this, 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 this child because this child looks like, you know, you know, they look like they have Down syndrome physically. I don't know, man. Like I said, I, I, again, I, I do things for me and in my camp, but I feel like it's going to help me. But I feel like every dog in my camp that I have currently plays a big role every single dog and the things that I have plans for all my dogs are big fight they have big healthy bright futures for all my dogs I'm gonna make sure I put all the work into my dogs necessary that they need and that they deserve and, 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 and want to make sure they live happy healthy lives uh, but I gotta go to the pet store I probably would try to supply I need to put pets I'm not gonna buy any but I catch y'all enough talking. I'm gonna catch y'all in the story. Catch y'all a little bit. So my goal with uh, Pretty Boy is to be able to outproduce him and produce something better 
and something healthier. That's my game plan. You know, with his DNA being so strong because he inbred, I can use his blood, not necessarily his genes, but his blood, which, you know, it all the same shit, to create something uh, better. Because my game plan is to really find a dog that's a producer. Like, Juice is a great producer. But I want better. Again, I always want better. So something better um, to produce something better. That's the game plan, right? Like, you know, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna have a dog that's a producer. That's the, that's the game plan. You want a dog that's a producer, like Gigi. Gigi wasn't the best looking dog. I can, I can honestly say, and that's my dog. I'm speaking because she was my dog, but she produced Rosa Parks, which is a bad female. You just gotta know how to find dogs that's producer. Which means you have to look to, 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 you know, you know, you can, just to help a lot of you guys out, just because you have a dog that looks nice, it doesn't mean they're going to produce. You can have one of the nice looking dogs in the world, they don't produce nothing. A producer is a producer, a producer, no matter like what they look like. You don't go by what they look like, you go by what they have produced in their bloodline. Because that's what's going to produce the bloodline, not how they look. You can have some of the ugly dogs in the world, or some of the most deformed dogs in the world produce the best. And don't even produce crazy looking dogs. Like you might have a, a dog with, um, you know. Uh, so when you're choosing a dog, when you're buying a dog, or when you're whatever the case is, or you're keep, trying to choose your keeper, um, you don't. Well, I can't speak for every dog because the micros are a little different than pockets. Like a guy that got pockets can't really go by a dude that breed micros because the class is different the height is different the way it, their dog is bred is different like it's just different um but like i said just because a dog looks good it does not mean they're producer um just because a dog looks bad don't mean they're not gonna throw nice things i always remember that that's like a million dollar quote right there don't think just because a dog look great they gonna produce great because I've seen two of the best. Like I live, I'm gonna I'm be honest. I've seen some like two some fire dogs, mom, damn, and and, and the sire, fire, and produce something. You'd be like, damn, this it? Like some mediocre shit. Like you would see two ugly dogs or two not the best looking dogs produce some nice stuff. Um, but keep that in mind, you guys. Keep that in mind. But I'm about to go in the store. I catch y'all when we get inside. All right, y'all. I just got to the pet co. I got to go ahead and grab a few things. I am not at track to supply today. Let me clean my camera. I am not at track to supply today. Today I am at pet co. I need some things from pet co. Today. So let's get in here. Let's see what they got. get my shampoo from here too y'all um hold on y'all i want to get copyrighted give me a second y'all hey you guys some dogs need this right here so if you're interested or your dog overly excited or whatever they got melatonin pills at petco for the dogs man just so y'all know if you need some for your crazy behind dogs might have to get some for hennessy because that girl be acting crazy man but i'm trying to find a few things i'll catch y'all in a little bit What they got in here, what they got in here, what they got in here, what they got. Hey man, if y'all like these uh bearded dragons, let me know. Y'all comment down below. I got a cousin who obsessed with bearded dragons. These snakes, man. I hate snakes. I don't do snakes at all, man. No type of snake. Gecko. Gecko. They dope. I like these, man. These things dope. Especially these. These are dope. I like these more. What's up, little guy? What's up, little guy? Snakes. He ready to attack. Y'all see that? He ready to strike. That boy ready to strike. He like, man, he better back up. I'm telling y'all I don't want to play. I just can't do snakes, you guys, because snakes are just... They just... 
they man, they they unpredictable, man. Snakes are very unpredictable, man. One minute they like you, next minute they own you, man. I don't like the frog. Got to go over here and check out. Check out the hamsters they got over here, y'all. Rats. I hate rats too. We don't like snakes or rats. What's up, little guy? Man, I had a gerbil one time, you guys. I bought a gerbil. I want to say about three years ago. I bought a gerbil, right? I had a mug for two days and took it back where I bought it from. I said, I can't do it. If you've never owned a gerbil before, I'm sorry, a gerbil. I'm, it's my fault, y'all. Guinea pig. I just, I was tripping a guinea pig. I owned a guinea pig for like a day. If you've never owned a guinea pig before, or if you never even had one, like the guinea pigs are, yo, they they great pets, but when they scream, yo, <laughs> that shit is annoying and it's loud. That mug screamed. I said, oh yeah, I can't do. It. I gotta take you back. That mug screamed all night. I had to take it back. That's a big one in there. I took it back, you guys. I said I can't do it. They nice pets though. CB Kennel family, I am on the road. I'm in this big U-Haul. Listen, you guys. So, I'm currently about to meet up with the quad winner. Um, well, not him, because he's in New York. The guy that won the quad in the raffle, he's in New York. Um, he wasn't able to, unfortunately, come down and meet me and get the quad. But he's son of shipper to come get the quad. So, I'm meeting up with him. Then, after I leave there, I have to go to Home Depot. Cause I got to get a few more supplies for the doghouse. Then... I got to work on the doghouse before the guy comes to start the uh, tile. Unfortunately, he will not be coming Saturday because he got to work. He'll be coming Sunday. He should be done by Monday. I've already ordered all my supplies, the rest of my supplies, to finish up my um, kennels when he's done. Cool. So, all right, bro. So, we got it on the other. Uh, got everything. How long before you get there? Uh, we'll be there probably Monday afternoon sometime. You guys have a safe trip, okay? Thanks, man. Okay, so he got the trail. Squad on the truck, guys. About to get ready to take off, man. Saying goodbye to my baby, man. But listen, um, he got his quad. Hot, he had a hot shot pick it up. And that was damn, I didn't even think about that because the guy who won a dirt bike, he need to get. You know what? Let me ask him real quick. I can ask real quick. Hold on, yo. It's currently like one in the morning. I just got back from the vet. You guys know my vet. He 24 hour emergency, all that good stuff. All I gotta do is call him. But, um, went up there. I got him for a little while. I had to get some restock on my off on some medication for the dogs. You guys know I am done with all of the AIs on Toji Cat. So hopefully, you know, I bring her the juice. Hopefully we should have up soon. Um, I got an ultrasound for her. You guys know what the situation is. Did the one AI and you guys already second place. So we'll, we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, but, um, got we on some more medication for some other things she got going on. When it took her, she got uh, an ear infection, so I have to get that looked at for her ear infection. Um, doctor said he just got some new medication there for her skin. To try to get that fixed as always. Um, but he said his new medication that just came out, he think it should work on her. So I went and got that, but I took her because she kind of been like messing with her ear. So I felt like she had an ear infection. So got some medicine for the ear infection. Doctor said he got some new medicine to try for her skin. Um, Billy G's good, Hennessy's good. Uh, uh, blah, blah. So with the medicine I got, I had to put Riri in here and I put pretty well over there with Billy Jean. So she can stay away from everybody. So, like I said, let me show you guys this real quick. Had to um, get some more medicine. So I went and got me some more medicated shampoo. Um, this is for her ears. Got me some more, some more stuff from the vet. Got me some of these. Got me some of this. Got a few things from the vet. You guys know that's my little collection right there of all my stuff. Too. 
you know, I like to keep everything stocked up on. But my main reason for going to the event was for this female because um, she was messing with her ear, so I wanted to see what was going on with her ear. But while I was there at the event, we like me and him really cool because like I said I spent a lot of money with him. So me and him really cool. So while I was in there, he was like, "Hey, man, how's Riri?" I was like, "Riri, it's definitely better than it was. It was definitely worse than this. It was worse than this, but it's definitely better than it was." He was like, "Hey, man, um, we just came up with some new stuff, man. I want you to try it on. So hopefully that works for her and get her back right how I need it to." Um, man, I just you know I just hope, really, really hope. I really hope she took. We'll see. Again, Juice Puppies might be on the way. Her, I uh, who knows. What's up, Billy Jean? You okay? What's up, mamas? You okay, mamas? You okay? Hold on. I um got a new female on the way, you guys. She'll be here soon. These come and these come handy for our brothers, bro. But um, I just got um, one of my one of my good guys that I know who I bought um, Abigail from. He uh, getting rid of one of his uh, he getting rid of a lot of his females, man. But he got a couple bad females over there, man. He got one of them. He he just want me to get. He don't want to get rid of her. He want me to co own with him. Um, but you guys know how I feel about the co own thing. I don't really do too much co own. Kiki, you alright? She probably tired. I just had him in the background. I just had him in the backyard at one in the morning running around playing. Kiki, come on. Come here, girl. Yeah, she's tired. Yeah, she's super tired. Um, gotta get her. Gotta get her. So I gave everybody a vitamin. Hey, this dog right here. Yo, come on. Just gave everybody a vitamin. Um, gave everybody everything they need. Got a pretty boy in there with that girl Rosa. That boy Juice. Lala. Precious. Um, you guys know the shed will be done pretty soon. I spoke about that earlier in the video. This is the same video from. So the video from the footage from earlier is in the same day. It's just, this is that one, my day don't ever, like I told you guys, it's a 24-hour job. My my job never stops. It's 24-hour, round-the-clock job. Um, but for right now, you guys, just wanted to check in with you guys, let you guys know what's going on with me. Um, I catch y'all in the next video. I love you guys. Everybody make sure they stay positive. Um, you hustle, Brian. That girl been eating a lot. I don't know, man, because she is a possibility, man, because she has been eating a lot. I will say that. I'm gonna give her that. She has been eating a lot. So we'll know, who knows? Who knows, you guys? Who knows? We'll see. Um, but Hennessy still ain't came here. You guys know uh, I skipped her uh laziest dog I know. Lay down and drink his water. But I skipped her last heat cycle. So when she come back in heat, we are breeding her. It's gonna be her last breeding. That'll be three litters. Um, then she'll be retired. I'ma probably give her some of that melatonin, man. Like I showed you guys earlier in the video, because yeah, she be tripping. But I think her and Juice gonna be fire, man. That's gonna be a fire breeding. But we out, dog. Y'all can um I love all the support. I appreciate all the support. You guys make sure you tell your friends, spread the word, CB Kennel. Um, we hustling, we grinding, we're motivating, we're elevating the whole nine yards, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. We out, I love y'all.